So welcome to our video series focusing on Minecraft Education Edition's new world, which is called Lessons in Good Trouble, and it features this man right over here, Congressman John Lewis. Now, in the first two parts, we explored the Black Lives Matter movement. We also went to Pakistan and learned a little bit about Malala. And today, what we're going to do is go to South Africa and learn about the anti-apartheid movement with Nelson Mandela. After generations of minority rule, the apartheid government in South Africa finally started to change in the 199Os. Join me in my country at that time to learn about the anti-apartheid movement and some of the people who helped bring much needed change to South Africa. So let's fly to South Africa in 1992. Okay, so here we are in South Africa. Let's hear from Congressman Lewis first. Now let's meet Nelson Mandela, who was an advocate for human rights and freedoms for black people in South Africa during the apartheid government. This was the brutal policy of racial discrimination against people of color that caused suffering for millions across generations. And now let's hear from Nelson Mandela. Thank you, Congressman. As a leader of the African National Congress, I was a catalyst for good trouble protesting against the South African government's unfair policies. I was arrested and sentenced to 30 years in prison, but I didn't give up the struggle. We ended apartheid in 1992, and I became the first black president of South Africa. So now, if apartheid is a concept that your students are not familiar with, you'll notice that right next, right down here, you can see next to the continue button is a button that says about apartheid. And when I click the link, it's going to take me to history.com and give me some information about what apartheid is. You can see some of the links off to the side here and just a general overview with photos. I believe there's some videos here as well. Now, if your students are maybe a little bit younger, elementary level, uh, I do have some other videos to introduce the concept of apartheid to your students, and I'll leave those in the description. So let's jump back to South Africa. And here we are. So you'll notice that this world is going to be pretty brief, as you'll see right over here. Now, you can see right over here that what the designers tried to do is model a little bit about the segregation of South Africa. You can see that these are the, these are the white South Africans on the side here. And if I go across the street, you, and if I go across the street, you'll see that these are the non-white or the, the black South Africans on this side okay so a good way to kind of illustrate i guess exactly what apartheid is and you'll just run down the street and come right over here where you see another npc of nelson mandela you may have noticed our statue of steve Biko, leader of the black consciousness movement and one of many other anti-apartheid activists who caused good trouble Take a moment to learn about other anti-apartheid activists and build a monument to their good trouble to stand beside Steve Biko. Okay, so again, clicking the Learn More button is going to take you to a website. So here we are on CNN.com. You'll see that this is one of the slideshows that you often see on news sites. You'll see some of the people associated with apartheid as well as a little bit of information underneath each one of their pictures. Again, you may be better off just supplanting this with your own con your own content rather than what comes on CNN.com, depending on the age of your students. Once students have identified one of our leaders to build the monument next to, then we are going to go through and do the activity. So you'll notice that Nelson Mandela mentioned this monument for Steve Biko right over here. What we are going to do now is build our own monument, 
and you do that by going inside here and selecting some items now one of the things as you'll see in a second that's going to be helpful is this little slab okay so you can get an idea you can see some of the different chests that have different items if you want colors the color is right over here again what i find is that this can be kind of difficult because if you're used to building in creative mode i just want to kind of put blocks down here and fly but you're limited you can't really fly you can jump but you can't fly so what you have to do is just go and build different items kind of just like that Okay, and again, you don't really have the option to fly in this mode, so what you'll have to do is kind of put these little steps, and I meant to put a step, the slabs, like this, and once you have a slab, you can kind of just jump up and build the second layer. Just have to be careful, because if you put a slab in the wrong place, okay, I'm going to put a slab right here, like how I have that block here, I now have a block that I kind of don't really need and again if you're used to the creative mode you can break blocks with really just one chop but now that you're in this mode it takes multiple hits to kind of break some of those blocks so I'm just gonna go here I'm going to add my blocks here again your students if they have experience with Minecraft can probably build something a little bit nicer than what I'm about to build here but this just kind of gives you an idea. So let me pause and we'll take a look at my monument. Okay, so I just kind of finished. If I kind of back up right over here, there is the monument to Steve Biko. This is my monument to Desmond Tutu, who was one of the figures that you saw on that CNN site. Obviously, this one doesn't look as nice as the monument to Steve Biko, but again, I didn't spend too much time. I also am very limited in terms of my building experience in this particular mode of Minecraft, so I'm sure students will be able to, to do a much better job in terms of making a, a nice monument, especially if they have experience. So I'm finished with my monument, and now I'm going to go back to Congressman Lewis. Next, I'd like to take you to the United States in the 1960s and share with you some of the important events that shaped my life. You can continue on foot, fast travel, or return to the lobby using the buttons below. So this is actually the next area of this world. We're going to... So this is the next area of this world. We are going to go to Montgomery, Alabama, and not only learn more about Congressman Lewis, but also Martin Luther King Jr. But we'll do that next time. So again, this lesson is Lessons in Good Trouble. The section that we just saw was South Africa, and learned, we learned a little bit about apartheid and Nelson Mandela. If you're looking for a quick activity and just a way to maybe um, either review some of what your students learned about South Africa, or if you want to introduce this concept to them, either way, I definitely recommend this part of the world, Lessons in Good Trouble. And if you want to see some of the other walkthroughs that I did of different parts of Lessons in Good Trouble, then check out some of the other videos that you see on the screen here. And if you like any of these videos, don't forget to subscribe so you're notified when I add some of the newest videos and the rest of the videos in Minecraft's Lessons in Good Trouble.